Ah, coding, how fun. Have you ever wanted to learn how to code, but you've been stopped by these stupid tutorials, one that I have even made, and probably want to make again because they have some kind of meaning. I'm already contradicting myself, oh, great, anyway, this video will go over some techniques that helped me learn how to code without losing interest and made me extremely efficient. So let's get right to it. So for number one, I'll start with the most influential way to learn code efficiently and the correct way. This is so you guys don't have to wait until the end of the goddamn video to get the most out of it. But please watch it the whole way through. Number one, always use documentation. I don't know how many times I have told this to people who are trying to learn code. They rely on tutorials way too much and when something doesn't work, there is no easy way of understanding why. They just copied it from the tutorial master. Every single coding language and library has documentation to accompany it. It outlines every function and its use. Think of it as a huge wiki for every single function that the code can do. Isn't that just amazing? One of the best sites that holds documentation that is arranged correctly and is easy to access is called devdocs.io. This is not an advertisement because I am definitely not popular enough to get any sponsors. But seriously, there is over 50 languages documented there, including jQuery, C, C++, LUA, Node.js, and much more. If you guys ask for it, I'll do a video on how documentation can be used to the best of your ability. Just a quick rundown on how to use it. You see the search function? Go search anything you want to know, such as .css in jQuery and voila, all the information you'll ever want to know about that specific function and it comes with examples and everything you would like. Searching up a function that you've just learnt can greatly help you understand exactly how it works next time. Number 2. Always write your own documentation. Have you ever heard of these things called comments? They are your best friend. Every single time you write some code, write a comment next or above it, explaining what it does. This is so you don't lose track of what happens at each point of your code. This is so important, I couldn't tell you how many times I've written code and completely forgot what I did minutes later. It shaves down the time from spending hours trying to find what you did to only seconds. This is regarded as common practice because it is so crucial to coding. I can guarantee you that you'll thank me later if you try this. Number 3. Google is your best friend. I'm sure you know Google by now. You would have used him to even get to my video. By the way, thank you for coming here. So believe it or not, every single thing that you want to do with code or segments of it is available online. People have already asked the question for you. A site that I use frequently is Stack Overflow, as they have a great community that is dedicated to helping beginners to even experts solve their coding problems. Have a question? Don't hesitate to go there. Or even ask me, or whatever you prefer, I don't mind. Secretly wants you to ask me. Simple things like how do I load JavaScript file in HTML is easily answered there. This way you can learn what you want at any time without having to follow a tutorial that is maybe not exactly what you're looking for. This way you can cheat and skip ahead past the useless parts and straight into what you want to learn. This makes learning it fun and exciting. However, don't forget to brush up on your basic tutorials first, because if you don't know the basics, you won't understand anything that is answered. A quick tip for learning super fast is using this technique and looking for documentation of functions that you haven't understood or seen before. This way you can build an understanding of them so you don't get lost in learning the code. Number 4. Well, it's kind of a given. Write what you want to write. So this one is kind of odd for newcomers coding. The stereotype is, is that you need to copy word for word the code that you are seeing to learn. My own experience finds this extremely, extremely boring, and seriously, why would you code something that is not immediately useful to you? So try and make every single project that you code something that you will want to make, something that you will use, something that you will find useful. 
Trust me, this will make your coding career so much more fun and exciting. Every small step you take towards your ultimate goal just fuels you to make it more. So that wraps up the tips I can give you in this video. I thank you all for watching and I really really hope I helped you guys with taking a different approach to learning code and I gave you all motivation to continue learning at full pace. If you guys found this at all helpful, I strongly advise you all to like the video. If not, dislike it and leave a comment below telling me what I did wrong and what needs improving. You can write a nice comment too. And finally, consider subscribing if you would like more content like this. You guys will decide the direction of my videos in the future and why not subscribe to see where I go. Happy coding and have a wonderful day.